in this session we are going to discuss about the transient keyword in java so what is transient keyword transient is a variable modifier which is used in serialization you can say that like in java we have different type of modifiers like you can say public final static in the same way transient is also a modifier and which is basically used in the serialization okay so if you want to know what is serialization you can watch the this video serialization and serialization on my channel and you would get the uh, you can say depth understanding of the both the concept here in the short i want to tell you what is serialization whenever you want to convert whenever you want to convert your data your variable or properties of a class or object into the byte so that you can save in a file or in the database then you use the concept of serialization okay so for serialization you should implement the serializable interface so here what we are saying that whenever you want to save our data of or you can say the value of a variable in a file then we use the serialization concept right but at the time of serialization we have different type of variables or different type of properties but we don't want to save a value of a particular variable in a file then we use the transient keyword and how it works whenever jvm comes across transient keyword okay it means whenever your program is running and your serialization concept is running and jvm come across is this particular transient keyword with a uh, you can say variable it ignores original value and save default value of that variable data only for that particular variable in which you have defined the transient keyword it will ignore its original value and will save the default value so we will see this practically here so for that purpose let me open my you can say eclipse this is the class in this class you can say that i have a student class which is which has already implemented serializable interface and it contains three properties role student role number name and result here so i have already uh, you can say this program i have already explained in my serialization video that what this program is doing i have created object here then i set the uh, all the uh, properties uh, for all the you can say all the uh, variables like student role number name student i set the values five class and fail here then uh in you can say at line number 17 i have just give the path of a file here okay the automation test data uh this is the path of my you can say file this is the path uh this is the location so in this program we given the, this one and now with the help of these line file here put stream object output stream object right i am saving the data i am saving this s1 into the this test test file i'm saving it so when this program will run it will save the data in the form of bytes in this test file so let me do one thing let me run this code when we will see the message object save it will save in the you can say file so i got this message like this one so now we can go and check it that this is the file and this file contains the my object uh, all the information of my object is actually saved in this file but we cannot see it because it is in the object form so we cannot see it uh, properly now uh, let me do one thing i will do the reverse of this thing uh, so that i can show you that the, really these values are saved so this is my uh, you can say another class that is called deserialization so in deserialization what will what i'm doing here this is the my file which contains the object and now i'm using the input stream to read the data and object input stream what it will do it will read the object from this file okay bytes uh, in the, in the bytes form it will read it and then in my program i'm just converting into the you can say student object and after converting using this object i'm just printing the value so just let's see that it is able to read it or not so that we can see that serialization is working fine or not so when i run it you can see that whatever values i have set at the time of serialization five class and fail that are printing here okay so now we will do one thing you can say that same values are now i will show you the impact of you can say transient keyword suppose take the example i don't want to save the actual value of this you can say student roll number as well as i don't want to save the actual value of the result these two values i don't want to save i don't want to save the actual value of these two variables okay okay and uh okay let me write it in here i don't want to save the values of these two variables student roll number and student result in my you can say file as an object student name i want to save it so you can say that i use transient keyword in these two so it means the value of student roll number and the value of student result it will not save it will not save the actual value in the file it will only save the value of 
Keras because I've used the transient keyword in these two bubbles. So now this time, let me run this code here. So now when this code run, it object is saved. It means again, my code is run and my latest object is saved in this file. So how I can check it, whether it has saved the value of a student roll number, it has saved the student roll number default value or actual value, or it saved the actual value of a student result or default value. That is none. So I can check it. Let me run the, you can say, let me run the, you can say uh, another uh, program that is called deserialization. So again, let me run it. So when it run it, it will read the data from this file as an object and then print it. So you can say that the value of student roll number is zero. The value of name is Kailas, but the value of result is none. So it means for student roll number and for student result, it is not reading the actual value. It is not reading the actual value, which is actually five and paid. It is only reading the value for Kala. So it means using the transient keyword, you can stop the serialization of a particular variable. So I hope you understand the concept of transient. Still, you have any doubt, you can put in the comment of this video. And if you have not subscribed my channel till now, then subscribe mm -hmm. it.